Hello, I'm uh, Harry Blevins. Uh, this is uh, my first time talking with people in my new part of my district. Uh, I represent the 14th Senate District, uh, which consists of Chesapeake, part of Chesapeake and part of Virginia Beach. And uh, now a new part for me is the uh, city of Portsmouth, the city of Suffolk, the city, uh, the county of Isle of Wight, uh, Southampton County, and Franklin City. Uh, is now part of the district I represent, and, and I feel very fortunate to be able to represent uh, that, that particular group of people. This has been an interesting session for me because of what I just said and the people I'm representing for the first time. Uh, I've had a lot of contact from them. They've gotten in touch with me on a lot of issues that concern them, uh, not the least of which was before I was even elected, I got a lot of feedback from people in farming I mean, in hunting areas in Southampton County and Isle of Wight County who really wanted me to come up here and vote for a um, uh, elimination or allowing, rather, uh, Sunday uh, hunting on Sunday. And I, uh, I did vote to, uh, for that to happen uh, because of the input I got from constituents. And uh, while some people were opposed to that, the majority of the people who contacted me was for it. And so that's why I voted that way. Uh, having done that, though, I did irritate some people in, in Chesapeake and Virginia Beach who, who wanted me to vote the other way. So that's the dilemma we have up here, and all you can do is, is have one vote one way or the other, and I voted for that. And that was a big issue that uh, caused a lot of feedback from, for not just me, but for all of us who, who took that vote. Uh, since then, uh, we've had a lot of different things going on. I'm a former educator, former principal of a high school, and I, uh, I'm on the Education and Health Committee, and uh, there's a lot of issues that come before there, that uh, before that committee that I'm uh, having to deal with, that I have a lot of uh, interest in public education. It's something I think that we do in this country that no other nation does quite like us, and that's give everybody the opportunity for a free public education. And uh, it's important that we keep improving as much as we can to meet the needs of our children, that we're trying to uh, make sure they can go away from graduating from high school and be able to get a, a good, decent job and, and be able to go to college if that's, cho that's their choice and come away with becoming a successful mature businessman or woman and that's that's probably my number one interest although I have interest in transportation and our needs there that's something that uh, right now Portsmouth is very upset about uh, and has contacted me on the tolls that are having to be levied there to do the tunnels that we have in the uh, in our Hampton Roads area uh, the legislature didn't uh, vote to put those tolls in, it was not something we did. That's the only thing that the governor can do is, is respond to what we ask him to do from our uh, transportation authority, local transportation authority. Uh, tolls was the number one thing. For, I mean, I'm sorry, the, uh, the tunnels were the number one thing that needed to be done in Hampton Roads area. Uh, the uh, Secretary of Transportation ended up uh, suggesting the only way that we have to do that is is uh, have tolls to be a part of the, or not the part, but mostly the part, to pay for those very expensive projects. And there are a lot of people upset about that. I don't like it either, but that was the only thing you're either going to have tolls to repair and, and make better the opportunity to cross those uh, bodies of water in, in tunnels, or uh, they won't be built. They'll be just like they are. So that's what we've tried to do is, is respond to you folks, and I appreciate all your uh, input 